Dear friends, how are you? I'm Lam Ping Fong. In the last episode, I have taught you some basic skills in Photoshop. Let's start learning how to cut out this time. First of all, we have to understand the theory of cutout. Cutout means to cover the model's face with my own face. At a glance, the whole model's body looks like myself. Including hairstyle, clothes, body shape, and body of the whole person, etc. It's that simple. This is possible because there can be different layers in Photoshop. Last time I have already talked about what layers are. Now let me explain the definition of layer again. You see this picture is actually composed of several different layers. Including portrait, sun, flowers, and the sky, etc. They are all located on different layers. I can close or open them arbitrarily. For example, I want to turn off the portrait layer. I can't see the portrait layer now. When I open it again, it will reappear. Now I turn off the sun layer again. The sun disappeared. The layers are hierarchical. In this photo, the portrait is on the top level. So it covers the sun. And the sun is in the upper part of the sky. So the sun covers the sky. In other words, layers of different levels can cover another layer. In this picture, the entire model is a background layer. And I moved my avatar layer to over there. Covered its face and modified it. It looks like the whole body is like me. Now you should be very clear about the principle of cutout. The next thing I want to introduce is what to pay attention to during cutout. There are a few points to pay attention when cutting out. Include deciding the direction of the face. Avatar size ratio. The position of the avatar. And the tilt angle of the avatar, etc. Let's first see how to decide the direction of the face. I have a picture of a model here. The entire model picture is a background layer. There are three avatars on the right hand side. All of them are my own face. And I want to overlay my avatar on the background layer. Cover up the model's face. So that become my own face. Which avatar do you think is the most suitable for covering? There is no doubt that the first avatar is the most suitable. Because we mainly look at the direction of the face. To decide which avatar is most suitable. As you can see from the picture. The model's face and body are inclined to the left. And in the first avatar, my face also leans to the left. And the inclinations of their faces are very close to each other. So the first avatar is most suitable to cover the model's avatar. What about my second avatar? Although its head tilt angle is relatively large. But it doesn't matter. The tilt angle of the head can be adjusted arbitrarily in Photoshop. The most important thing is to look at the direction of the face. The face direction of this avatar also leans to the left. There may be a slight deviation from the direction of the model's face. But basically there is no problem. Because each other's faces are tilted to the left. After covering up. Both facial and body drive are leaning to the left. So the overall look is quite natural. Now look at my third avatar. My face in this avatar is tilted to the right. And the model's face and body are tilted to the left. If you want to cover the avatar insistingly. The face becomes turned to the right. 
but the body is still facing to the left. That would be far-fetched. The overall look is unnatural. What should we do in this situation? There is a method. Photoshop has a feature that can flip pictures or avatars. Like a mirror to flip it. The face and body covered in this way are inclined to the left. It will look natural. How can I flip the picture or avatar? I show it to you now. It can be seen from this picture. The direction of the face in the background layer is completely opposite to the direction that needs to be covered. If it's is covered the avatar insistingly like this. This is impractical. So the first thing we need to do is. First flip the entire background image over like a mirror. Or flip the avatar you want to cover. So that both faces are facing the same direction. Click file in Photoshop to open this picture. Click image. Select image rotation. Then click flip canvas horizontal. Now you can see the face direction of the background image. It's in the same direction as the covered avatar. Then we adjust the size and tilt angle of the avatar. This is almost done. Don't worry. This is just a very rough demonstration. I will teach you how to do it step by step in the next video. Now we look back at this picture. If I want to overlay my avatar. Transplant the third avatar over there. This is feasible. But the face and body of the background image are inclined to the left. And the face to cover the avatar is inclined to the right. So be sure to flip the avatar or background image. Make the direction of the face to overlay consistent with the direction of the body. I will demonstrate again to flip the background image. Open the picture I want to modify in Photoshop. Click image. Select image rotation. Photoshop also has many other features. For example, you can rotate the avatar to different directions. Click Flip Canvas Horizontal. You can flip the picture easily with this method. Then pull in the avatar for overlay. Another method is to flip the avatar prepare for covering. and then overlay it on the original background image. Both methods are available. Depends on your favor. OK. That's all for the direction of face. The second thing to pay attention is the size ratio of the avatar. The avatar size ratio for covering should be moderate. It's the best to follow the original model's head size. Just cover it up. Not too big nor too small. 
If the avatar is too big, it will be out of proportion to the whole body. If the avatar is too small, it will not only be out of proportion to the body. And you can't completely conceal the model's original face. This magical trick will be exposed. The third thing to pay attention to is the position of the avatar. Not too high, too low, too front or too behind. Like the avatar in the picture, the position is too low. Can't see the neck. We need a reference point as a reference when we put the position of the avatar. We use the chin of the face as a reference point. Align the chin of our own head with the model's chin. This way the position of the avatar will not be too far apart. And the last thing to pay attention is the tilt angle of the avatar. Be sure to follow the original tilt angle of the model's head. If the tilt angle is wrong or deviated, it can't completely cover up the model's original head. And it doesn't look naturally overall. So the tilt of the avatar must be the same as the original one. In Photoshop, the tilt angle of the avatar, avatar size ratio, and the position of the avatar can be adjusted arbitrarily. In summary, there are a few things to pay attention when cutting out. First choose an avatar that suits the direction of the face. Flip the avatar or background picture if necessary. Then adjust the size ratio of the avatar. The proportion should be moderate, not too big or too small. The next step is to place the avatar. It's basically placed on the avatar of the original background image. And use the chin as a reference point. Align from the chin to the chin. Then adjust the tilt angle of the covered avatar. To match the avatar of the background image. The last thing is to modify. Then the whole process is almost finished. Of course, there are some complicated procedures in the process of matting. I will explain it to you next time. Dear friends, this time's content is share upon here. In the next video I will demonstrate the entire process of cutting out. Don't miss it by the time. If you think my video is good. Then please give me a like. Leave a message by the way. Help me to subscribe. And open the bell next to it. And share out the video. Thank you all. Goodbye.